OMG. I love this. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me today. Well, as you can see from the title, I made a very um, long trip to, to get the items here in, um, in, in these bags. Yeah, this is, I like this bag. They were giving out. Cool. So instead of just making it a solo trip because I have a very hard time driving long distances and long lengths of time, it was a trip with my cousin who met me there and my sister-in-law Valerie who decided to come along, keep me company, and we could have some fun. And then I had some lunch afterwards and it, it was, let's just put it this way, it was a good day. It was a long drive, probably six hours in the car total, but it was a fun day. So where did we go, you might ask? Well, I know a lot of you have heard of the cosmetics company store, but on Long Island at the Estee Lauder headquarters, not only do they have the cosmetics company store, but they have the cosmetics company warehouse. And every so often they have warehouse sales. So because like if the cosmetics company store, basically everything's around the original price. They do have some good sales there, but it's just kind of like a regular store. But in the warehouse, they have things that are 40, 50, 60% off. Now it was good. It wasn't as good as I thought. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit. But anyway, the drive to get my sister-in-law and then the drive out to the place, it took about three hours. So the question is, was the three hours worth me getting everything that's in these vans? I wanted to vlog, but I was driving, so I couldn't document that part of it. And then they don't allow you to do so in the warehouse anyway. So I'm just going to have to tell you about my experience. If you just want to skip to the products, I will try to remember... Please don't hold me to that, but I'm going to fly. Sorry, I'm going to try to remember to put a timestamp down below so you can just skip along to the products. But you pull up, you go in this door that looks like you're going into like an underground nightclub, <laughs> essentially, it's, it's very funny, actually. And you had a line and of course we had to register and you had to print out your ticket, you had to wear a mask, you had to social distance, and they needed you to be vaccinated, which was fine. So we go in and basically you look and it's like, it looks like a Costco, but not with really tall things. Everything is like your level for you to peruse. And it looks like a snake line. You're just kind of going around like a line in amusement park, basically. My cousin told me that because she's gone before, they used to have like a box <laughs> that you drag behind you and you can put the items in. Now, here's the thing. You're only allowed, I believe, a certain amount. I think it's five of each item. And you cannot like look and then go back. You have to basically put the items in your box and decide right there. If you get past it and you change your mind, you can't like, you know, go back in the line and, and get it. The good thing is, if you decide you put it in your box and you change your mind when you get to the register, that's okay too. So it wasn't just Estee Lauder products. Estee Lauder is the parent company of a lot of companies that I did not realize. Tom Ford, Clinique, they had Too Faced items, they had some Becca items, and they had so much Glam Glow that it looked like I walked into like a Glam Glow store, basically. I could not believe how much of it they had. There were tons of fragrances that were half off. I was so excited about the Tom Ford products, but unfortunately, oh, let's just say they went really, really quickly. So, by the way, I think I forgot to finish that story. Instead of the boxes, they gave you big plastic bags, but then they also had these bags sitting there, and I just love these bags, you know, the paper ones. They're kind of luxurious, so I took one of those too. So you go around, as I said, I was looking at things, and honestly, I have to say that some of the prices were really excellent, but things like the Too Faced... They were half off the retail. Now, if you go to TJ Maxx, you can find a lot of the items a whole, whole heck of a lot cheaper. And some items, it seemed that I thought to myself, well, that's not even really a sale. And I'm getting a phone call. Hello, I am back. Unfortunately, I got interrupted for a while, a good hour at least, and I do not remember what I was talking about. So if I reiterate anything, I will probably just edit out, edit it out. But I was telling you about the process and how it's just a fun way to go around. And 
I put a lot of things in my basket and I thought about a lot of things. They did have testers out, um, but the funny thing is they didn't have a lot of like eyeshadow palettes and things like that. They had some blushes. As I said, the Tom Ford stuff was gone because um, they did have the quads available. And they had what I found was a lot of the gift with purchase things that you get, especially for like the Estee Lauder and like a few others. And you could just buy the bags or you could buy the bag with something in it. And so we went around. I said it took us, um, I guess we were there for like an hour maybe, just taking our time and going through. And then at the very end, you go into like an open room where there is the cashiers. And, you know, you wait online. And right before there, they had mystery bags. They also had a huge ton amount of, do you remember the Estee Lauder red velvet case that came with the makeup? They had those available for less than half price. And then they had mystery bags, which is what this was. This was all tied up and it was $80. And I was like, no. And then I said, you know what? Let me get it. I said, because if it's something that I can't use, I can of course put it into a giveaway. I was also able to get some things for Christmas presents too and for giveaway stuff. So all in all, I think that I did a fantastic job and I was aware because I'm aware of all the prices, I knew what to get and what not to get. So let's just get into it. I just want to show you the empty bag that I got first because you know I have a thing for totes lately, right? <laughs> I don't know what brand this was a gift with purchase. Could have been Clinique or Estee Lauder or something, but it's a canvas bag. And on the inside, it is that pretty blue, and it has like a lining, um, and of course, it flattens out, and it could be just a tote for anything. I could use it for shopping, but I don't know. I said I just have a thing for totes lately, so I thought it was pretty, and I'm glad I picked it up. That was $5. The other thing, too, when you got up to the front, they just took a whole handful of samples and threw them into, you know, your bag, which I thought was super cool, too. I did see this. They had a ton of Smashbox. They had all of, I'm sorry, so they did have some palettes, but they weren't out. Let's put it that way. They were in the gift sets. There were a lot of gift sets from Christmas is what I noticed also. So they had this little Smashbox set, the Primer Waters. I ran out of the Primer Waters a while ago, and I hadn't purchased any new ones, but this was Earth and Water, and there were the little ones, which I like because I keep them in my purse. And you don't have to use these as primer. You can use them as refresher sprays or whatever. They were $10. I don't know what the full price of them was. It might be a 50% off price tag, but let's see. And I haven't seen these in TJ Maxx late, lately either. Hmm, the earth smell is... Well, it's a little earthy. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's not a very strong smell, but let me smell the other one. This one's water. I can barely smell this one. It's a much lighter fragrance and it's not as, um, the other one smells earthy. That's the only word I can, the one smells earthy. That's the only word I can think of, can think of. And the water really doesn't smell like anything unless my nose is confused so quickly already. But let me see if they tell you. Okay, the earth is cedarwood and vetiver and the water is sea salt and lemon. But I can't smell it very much. Either way, I'm happy to have them. They had a bunch of these little sets, which again are gift with purchase. And this one in particular was $10. There were some that were mystery bags that you couldn't see in that were also around the warehouse as well. Here's just a cute little purse. It could be a change purse or something. I love the purple inside, purplish blue, royal blue. No, that's that's definitely purple. Mm -hmm. And the little snake skin. I'm probably gonna just put this aside to like put stuff for a giveaway in. But in here, the Skin Love Brightening Brighten and Blur Primer. I've used this before. This is from Becca. I use this and I do like it very much. Ooh, this is a Mac lip gloss. I didn't even realize. And look at the beautiful packaging. Look at how the lid is detailed, and that looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, they smell so good. That was always my favorite thing about the lip glasses. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I would put it on, except it's purple, and it's not going to go with the, like, the bronzy look that I have. But, oh, I can just smell that all day. Here's a little baby Glam Glow Good in Bed. And I have this one, so I'm going to put this to the side to put in a giveaway in the future. 
This is the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. I think I've tried this, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go check my stash and see if I have any others. Because if I do, then I'll put this into the giveaway as well. Okay, how funny. This is one of my favorite face washes. This is the Origins Checks and Balances. It foams up, and this is such an awesome face wash. I had another small one that I finished and I was like, should I go out and buy it? I have so many others. So I am super glad that I received that. Yay. Then they had this little Estee Lauder set of perfumes. And I don't know if I'm going to open it because I may be giving this as a present to somebody. It does show you on the back. Well, this is the front. Hello. Cute little gift case. And this is the purse spray collection. It comes with a little bag. And that is showing you what the perfumes are. I can see and recognize one right away, which is beautiful, which I've loved for many years. It's also pure white linen, modern muse, modern muse le rouge, and then pleasures also. This was only $12.50, and I think for $12.50, that's fabulous. And I'm pretty sure that those are the actual sizes in there, not just the little vials. So this is going to make a fabulous gift. Oh, here is one of the little samples that I received. It says Perfecting Pressed Powder and Light, which is absolutely my color. This is Estee Lauder, and you know what? You can pop it out of this and put it into a Z palette, which is awesome. I don't think I've used this powder in so very long, so I am super happy to have this and the fact that I can take it out of that. Yay! Here's another sample that I received from Glam Glow. It's their Star Potion, and I don't think I've used this. It's turmeric, vitamin C, and salicylic acid. It is, oh, it's a clarifying oil. Interesting. Oh, I wanted to go over this. Also at the register, if you bought, they had about six of these to choose from. If you bought one of these little bags for $10, that would is going towards a donation towards breast cancer research. The entire amount. So I was like, I oh, will absolutely get one. And they had a couple to choose from. It was hard for me to pick, but I did get this because it had a couple of cute things in it. Now it was $10. This is a full size Too Faced You're So Jelly highlighter. I did have one of these. I really liked it, but I didn't use enough and it did wind up drying out on me because they will. This one is in Gilded Champagne. I remember this being at least $30. Look at how pretty. It did a settle, of course. It's a very thick formula. It's kind of moussey. Oh, and it smells so freaking good. Oh my goodness, I want to eat it. Not really. Look at how pretty that is. I'm not going to let this one dry out. I'm going to keep it right up front and I'm going to use it. I got a little baby glam glow. These are bigger sizes than I get in, you know, my uh, Ipsy bags. So this is the Power Mud Duo Cleanse System. So I have to read up on this one and see how to use it because I don't think I've ever used the green one. I do like their firming mask. That's a really good one. A MAC lipstick. Is this a full size? It is a Powder Kiss lipstick. What color? Number 314. I think that says Mullet Over. Even with my glasses, I can't see. Yes, Mullet Over. I have absolutely no idea what color. Yeah, this is a full size. Oh, and it's their matte packaging. <gasps> Love that. <gasps> Love the color. Oh, my goodness. I think I want to try this one on. It's so cool. Look at the texture on that lipstick. It almost looks like, I don't know, like velvet. Oh, how pretty. Oh, yeah. Got to try this one. OMG. I love this. This is so smooth and comfortable. It does not feel like a matte at all. It feels creamy. It goes on beautifully. And these are like $20. I cannot believe I got a color that I love. Holy smokes. By the way, on my eyes, I am wearing the Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette. Love that palette. And the last thing in here is also from MAC. And I don't have one of these and I really wanted to try them, but I think they're at least $20 to $25. What? Emergency alert. Flash flood warning. This is a MAC shadow in wishful thinking. Look at the packaging. This might be from their holiday collection. That is so beautiful. And it's sealed. <gasps> oh! Oh! 
the texture I cannot describe the texture it's mushy if you push hard you will mush it in it's purple how did they know I totally picked the right bag oh my goodness it's like putting your finger on a velvet cloud I think that's the only way to describe it. And again, I think these are at least $20. Holy smokes, I'm in love. I think you have to keep this really sealed. That's why they had it sealed like this. I'm going to keep this on top of it. This is going right up front. I wish I had a pretty place to display it because of its beautifulness. But, and it's purple. And then also with that, because you were donating, they gave you little breast cancer things. These are three pins from DKNY. And then you also have a little bracelet here. It is a rope bracelet. And let me see what the little thing is. I think it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's the breast cancer ribbon. Is that it, is what it is? I don't want to um, open it because I'm going to give this to somebody. And uh, But how cool is that for $10? The money goes to the breast cancer research. And look at the products I got that had to be... I don't know, at least a $50 or $60 value. Oh, she actually gave me two of these little glam glow thingies, so maybe I will try that one. And then I have here DKNY Stories, and I've smelled this. I don't think that I'm a fan of it, so again, it's gonna go towards a future giveaway. It's another one of the little glam glow things. And then I saw this because I haven't had this perfume in a while, and it's several perfumes. This is from DKNY. It was $21. The apple from DKNY is one of my favorites. The juicy. Now, it smells like apple. Be juicy, whatever the name is. Let me see what these are. Okay, this one's called Be Tempted. Oh, look how cute this is. Love it because they look like little apples. Hey, okay, listen to this. It says it's a floral fruity gourmand. It has a hint of floral, but the top notes are red berries, licorice, apple, cassia, and lemon. Middle notes are rose, violet, and orange blossom. And the base notes are vanilla, Indonesian patchouli, leaf, and myrrh. It's basically a spicy, fruity scent, if that makes sense. This one also says be tempted, huh? I like this one too. It also has that spicy scent, but it's different from the others. Um, if you know which one is in the red, I'll be very curious to know because I can't find another name other than the Be Tempted on it. No, nope, this is my favorite one. This is the Be Delicious, the one that smells like apples. Yay! Yummy, yummy, and yummy. My nose is getting all confused now. The last one in here. Okay, this one I don't think I'm going to like. This is Be Delicious Fresh Blossom. Okay, I may actually like this because it said the top notes are um, grapefruit, apricot, and cassis, or cassis. The middle notes are rose, lily of the valley, and jasmine. And then the base notes are red apple and woodsy. But I tried smelling it. I can't really smell it yet. Oh, wait. I think I smelled something. I think I smell like the apricot and the apple. So, okay. I like this one too. They had another set as well with some different ones, but I hadn't tried these before, so I wanted to, and I'm very excited. So the four of them for 21, I think is a really, really good deal. So those were the things that I picked out along the way. Now let me go over the mystery bag and what I'm going to do. By the way, I am going to put the full price of all of the items if I can find them. So the first thing I pulled out was another perfume set from Estee Lauder. Okay, this one has Pleasures, Modern Muse, Beautiful Belle, Pure White Linen, and then the regular Beautiful. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, whether I'm going to give it as a gift or whether I want to keep it for myself. The second thing I got was also from Estee Lauder. I did open this. It was all plastic wrapped. Wait till you see this. This was obviously, I think, a gift set from, I don't know what particular holiday. But this is how it came in the cute little pouch. This is a mirror. It's metal. I'm thinking this may have been from Valentine's Day or Mother's Day. Isn't that cute? And it's a mirror. It's really heavy. It's, you know what it is? Like the enamel pins? That's what this is made of. That's why it's so heavy. And wait till you see these. These lipsticks are $22 each because I did look them up. These are the Pure Color Love lipsticks. This one is in 430 Crazy Beautiful. 
But wait, look at this packaging. Look how gorgeous. And then it pulls out. Oh, they're creamy. Isn't that gorgeous? Just the aesthetic of them is stunning. Here is a red, and this one is 300, and it's called Hot Streak. I may or may not keep this one. I'm going to be very careful. Look at that. I think it's an orangey red. Orangey reds do look good on me. I'm not swatching it, though, because, again, I don't know what I'm going to do. This one I think I am going to give away. This one is 220 Shock and Awe. It's a brighter pink. I will be careful again how I open it. There you go with that one. I think this will look good on a lot of other people. I'm not sure about me. Then there was this. I was hoping there was something in it, but it is not. It is just a Michael Kors cosmetic bag. There was nothing in it, but isn't this beautiful? And this has like a little bit of texture to it. It's really, really pretty. I got this full size of the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Shampoo. Hello, yes please, for this. I got this little gift set of the Origins Intensive Overnight Mask. There's two of them in here. This is a full size, and I looked this one up. It is $93. It is the Pure from DKNY. I was like, what? Look at how beautiful the bottle is. It's very simplistic, but elegant. So, oddly enough, I kind of like it, but it says that it's a blend of Bulgarian rose, lotus, and dewdrop flower petals. And I don't think that those were normally scents that I would enjoy. And yet I think I do. And if I don't like it, I'm just going to give it to somebody because I don't think they'll mind if I sprayed it twice and it's a $93 perfume. Oh, here is another thing of the DKNY Stories. This is a rollerball, maybe? Look how pretty. Oh, it's a spray, which is really nice. Let me look up the notes, because if I spray any more perfume on myself... <laughs> okay, this has milk mousse. I'm going to Google and see what that is. But milk mousse, guava, black cardamom, and pink pepper... The middle notes are white tea, jasmine, sambac, and the base notes are vanilla, white sandalwood, and ambergris. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, Google, what does milk mousse smell like? Here's a summary from Majestic Mountain Sage. Chocolate mousse smells like a freshly made milk chocolate dessert. I brought up chocolate mousse. That's not what I was looking for. Boy, was this hard to find. It, according to this, it says milk mousse in perfumes. It's like in the Gourmand family. They actually list all of the perfumes that have it. Victoria's Secret Frosted Apple. Well, that sounds good. As I said, I'm afraid to smell it on me because I might fall on the floor. So this is Tommy Girl, and it is a body lotion. I'm probably going to put this aside. This was fabulous. This is from Clinique. I think it's one of their like cartridges that you put inside of the hydrating um, milk stuff. No, hydrating jelly. Yes, this is their vitamin C booster. I may just go and buy that um, cartridge that this goes in because I had been wanting to try it and now that I have this, um, hey, why not? Look at how adorable this is. This is a set of mini lip glosses. They call them the Super Bomb Moisturizing Gloss. Then I also got the Bumble and Bumble texture um, hair dressing cream now they had all of these for sale in the aisles i think they were like um 24 or 25 dollars so i don't know what the full price of them is but i'm happy to have a full size of that and the last thing in here this was again a gift set this is from glam glow and it says the complete glam glow mask set it has the clearing the firming the hydrating the brightening Put your glasses on, Leanne. The refining, the repair, and the exfoliating. They're moderate sizes. This kit was originally $89. It says that it has suggested retail value of $240. I don't know, does Glam Glow sell these types of masks individually? I don't know how they broke it down, 
but this was in that mystery thing too. So for $80, I got all of that. I mean, I'm absolutely blown away. I wish I had gotten two of them. So they do have the warehouses, I think. They, I know they have the cosmetics company stores elsewhere, but I'm pretty sure they have the warehouses and other places. I said you have to like sign up for the emails and you have to actually get tickets. You just can't walk in. It's like a special event. So I am super happy with everything that I got. So afterwards, uh, we all looked at our purchases and we're really happy. I had to take my bag into the diner, which is where we went to go get some breakfast afterwards because I got up at 4.30 in the morning to go on this trip. And by the time we were done, uh, it was about only 10.30 in the morning. So we went to the diner. We had some breakfast. I showed everybody my bag, which was fabulous. And then headed back on the long drive home. And oh boy, was there traffic. Oh my goodness. I want to thank you so much for sharing my goodies with me. I love going through this and getting your opinions and hearing your thoughts because that is the best part of my day. I love you guys so much. You are amazingly wonderful people and I appreciate all of you. If you are new and you want to join this family, that would be amazing. And of course, my friends, whatever part of the world you're in on around, I hope you're having an amazing day. Baxter tail. I hope you have an amazing week coming up and I will see you really soon in my next video. Much love, everybody. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.